um, to my state, it's, it's just what you need. I mean, in South Africa, even um, police management, jurisdiction, uh, the community itself doesn't see the uh, possession or the crime uh, possession, distribution, manufacturing, child pornography as a serious crime. You know, we know there's a lot of other serious crimes happening in South Africa. So I think the you know the main purpose is for us to um, actually inform the community and whoever outside that this is a serious crime. It's not just I love the the, uh, the banner that um, Miranda made with the Miranda made um, with each and every image is a, is a crime scene because that's exactly what it is. You know you will get into court and you know magistrates will say to us, but bring me the victim. I need the victim to come and testify in court. You know you're sitting here with thousands and thousands and thousands of images. And it doesn't mean a thing to me. I need victims to actually to come and tell the court, you know, what happened to them. And what do we do? I mean, you know, sometimes we can find the victims, sometimes the victims, um, you know, is, is untraceable. I mean, victims are all over in, uh, the world. It's those images that's, um, that were distributed. So we really need to, to make the public and everyone out there aware that, you know, we are really um, being strong about um, possession of child pornography images. Each and every citizen in South Africa that's possessing it, we're definitely going to make a stand, you know, against it and make sure that, um, you know, at the end of the day we detect them and make sure that we get them to report and they will definitely get it, um, you know, penalty sentence that they deserve. I'm very fortunate that I think, um, you know, in South Africa we started with um, the uh, Project Spy case that we received from uh, Canada. And I think that actually alerted us, um, you know, to realize how many cases, how many targets, how many suspects, how many uh, child offenders are we sitting with in, in South Africa. And we just realized out of the, that investigation that we actually with 43 um, perpetrators identified in South Africa, um, with the least that we received from Canada. And that was, you know, a big eye-opener to say that, you know what, this is also happening in South Africa. From my point of view, I was never actually, you know, aware that we are sitting with so many uh, guys, uh, you know, actually men, because 99.9%, .9 you know, from our um, uh, suspects are men. And so it was really eye-opener. And luckily with the international uh, relationships that we uh, built so far, they send us the links, and you know, with um, dedicated, experienced investigating officers on my team, um, you know, we really uh, made a small impact in South Africa, investigating and um, tracking down these perpetrators. And luckily now we're on board uh, with Miranda and her team, you know, it's, it's now a step ahead, you know, we're from the crawling stage now, you know, almost, you know, standing up and say, this you know, let's all together now work take hands and, you know, make South Africa aware of what's actually happening here and, you know, what are we facing. It's not just uh, guys, you know, that um, is in a lower income or guys that doesn't have a job or it's it's guys that you will never expect, you know, is um, viewing these images. I mean, as you all know that uh, we arrested teachers, headmasters, doctors, air navigators. Um, it's really people that are supposed to take care and to, to look after your children. People that you trust, uh, your kid, um, you know, to drop off your, your child at school. I mean, you trust the school, you trust the teachers. And it's those guys that, you know, is really um, starting to disappoint us as, uh, as parents as well, the police as well. And, and, you know, that you must be made aware of that. Um, and, your, and the children of South Africa must be made aware of what's actually you know, going on. So, from my point of view, I just would like to thank you all and for Miranda because it's just highly time that we must raise awareness in South Africa about this crime, child pornography.